Hey everyone, welcome back to the PageFly Advanced Page Build tutorial course. Uh, today we're going to be looking at our first actual, um, <clears throat> pardon me, replication of a About Us page. So we're using the one you see on your screen now. This is from Harry's. You'll see us using a few of Harry's pages throughout the course because they're a minimal design, very attractive, um, good place to get started on building your own sites and understanding how layout elements and different features work. Um, uh, for landing page and things like that, we might get a little bit more complex, but uh, it's definitely a good starting point. So this is the Harry's About Us page. I'll explain a few things now, uh, so we won't have to mention them again later on. I'm going to be using three Chrome extensions. Uh, the first one is Measure Dimensions. Uh, we'll include links for these for you as well. This basically shows me uh, the dimension, the amount of pixels between between elements and, and the borders of the page, of course. The next one is Colorzilla. I can just click that one, uh, drop on the color, and it will automatically copy the, the color code for me. And the final one is and the final one, sorry, is what font. This will just tell me the font. Uh, now, oftentimes you'll find that um, we won't be able to find this exact font through Google Fonts or through PageFly. Um, so it's just a quick Google search, usually find what is the most similar to brand and grotesque. In this case, we'll be using the Lato font, which does come um, stock with PageFly. Okay, so we'll get started here. I'm on my, I've clicked apps on my Shopify admin. And here's, I'm in the PageFly dashboard now. I'm just gonna hit create a new page, a regular page. I'm gonna hide the header and footer because it's uh, somewhat irrelevant at this point, and I'm gonna name it. So we'll call it Harry's About Us mm, Cologne. How about that? That's fine. Okay, next. And I wanna start from blank. We can use templates. Uh, if, you, if you're doing a landing page or something like this, these are really great. But the point here is to figure out how to build a page from scratch using PageFly. So definitely wanna start with a blank page, okay? Now, as that loads, um, every website is built of what we call layout elements. So sections, blocks, rows, columns, and then the content within those layout elements. Uh, so each of these areas you see here, we'll refer to as a section, okay? This is a section with a background image, a heading, and a paragraph. This is a section with actually two columns, the left one having um, a heading, and a paragraph and the right column just having a uh, image with no gutter. So it's just fit right to the edge of the column. This section is just the opposite of the previous one. And then this section has a heading and a button. So in total on this page, we have one, two, three, four, five sections, okay? So we'll just start by throwing in the element, uh, the layout elements that we need. So that first one is, a full section, okay? You always wanna start with a full section. And all we need in that section is a heading. Okay, find heading here, stick that in the middle, and we just need to center that. So I'm going to styling over here, center the heading. That's all we need for our layout elements for this, for the first section, okay? The second one, another full section. Okay, make sure it's on the bottom there. Now all we're gonna need, we're gonna need a background image covering the whole section, but we're also gonna need on the right hand side a heading and a paragraph. So what I'm gonna wanna do is choose this half half layout element and throw that in there. Okay, and then I can put in my heading and my paragraph in the right hand column within that section, okay? We'll have our image covering the entire section in the background. This column will have nothing, so it won't display on our screen. And then we'll have our heading and our, uh, and our paragraph, okay? Now, let's do another section here. Throw in another full section. Now we wanna do half, half again. Now we're doing this one with these two gentlemen and then the text on the left. Let's go with 
the two columns. We're going to want to put an image element. Uh, it's under the media tab. Image element on the right. Okay. Image element on the right. And then we're going to need a heading and a paragraph on the left. Okay. Now I'm, what I'm going to do is select this entire section. Make sure that it says section on the bottom left of the screen here. And I'm going to hit on the uh, element toolbar here, duplicate. Okay. Now there's a way that we can just reverse these to quickly, as you can see, both sections are very, very similar. Just reverse it. We'll show you that in the following video. This one is just for layout elements. And then finally, this last section, is just a header, heading, sorry, and a button. Okay. So we'll add a section at the bottom. Uh, we'll put in a heading. Now for a button, I always add a block first. This will make sure that we can control um, uh, the, the alignment or the design of the button without affecting anything else within this, within this row. So the block is within a column, within a row, with the heading over top of it. Okay, and then I'm going to choose button and just stick it right in that block. Okay, so for the first section, it's just a full section and a heading, centered. Uh, the second section is two columns with the text on the right. This column will be empty. We'll have a background image. Then we have the two alternating text and image sections, and finally, the heading with the button on the bottom. Okay, so see you in the next video where we'll start putting the content in and make sure everything's aligned correctly. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye.